engage, pull. Engage, and you're no guard, don't pull it forward. Engage, pull. Engage, pull. It doesn't matter. Don't pull it forward. Push it. You gotta push it. Engage, pull. Engage, pull. So now see here, all you have to do is just put a little bit of effort on that. Now you're uh, engage, pull. 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 I wonder if we should go to the sticks so not take out too much of the time. Well, let's okay, we just engage, pull. Engage, pull. Now again, let me get in other words now. Be sure you be sure you pull at the same time. There was engage, pull. Engage, pull. Engage, pull. Now this time we pull. Just pull a little slowly. Engage, pull slowly. Okay, now again. Now, it did go forward. Oh, shit. You might say, come again. Engage, pull. Engage, pull. Engage, pull. Engage, pull. Pull sideways. No, no, just keep this. You want to pull sideways? Okay, so engage and pull this way, she's saying. Engage, yeah, engage, pull. Yeah, there you go. Engage, pull. Now, now what you're going to do is go ahead and just, we're, we're in the turning to that thing. So just clean it out. Now, when you yeah. heard that scream, that was because we heard it hit the back of the box in the film, which was a big deal. And it just hit it here. Now we're cleaning out the. And actually, the way you sit it, you can actually see it in here. Yeah, see, now it's, just, now it's at rest. So you can get in there and you can clean it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's, but in, in our uh, obelisk, it was about, uh, well, you saw it, nine and a half inches high. So we just had to go very slowly so we could set it down gently on that edge. We didn't want to chip it, we didn't want to uh, do any damage. So the film people were going crazy. They said, You're going too slow. We said, We, were, we want control. And, uh, So, so another thing that we knew about the, how they raised the obelisk, they raised it in two steps. The first step was to get it in the turning groove and not fully upright, because what they would do was, they would take all the, the box away, like you saw in the film, and then they would have a day called Jubilee. And uh, Jubilee is where the, the Pharaoh would come out, and all the high priests would come out, and probably all the... Uh, and probably all, uh, you know, all the, the, the higher status people would be there for this, 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 this uh, ceremony. And in fact, they would be the people pulling the ropes to do that last pull symbolically. So um, that's why these, these are high priests from, from Egypt. I didn't say that originally. So, <laughs> so um, yes. So, um, mm -hmm. and, and so now what they have to do is, as we described in the film, is you have to pull that last 15 degrees to upright. But what you have to understand here is, is that the physics of how that sits in the turning groove is as it comes forward, it actually has forward motion. The way, the way it sits there, so as it comes forward, it wants to come and fall down. So you have to, you have to be, have the brake work lines to have control in the back. So, Eric, so you're going to have one person do it? If you have two Egyptians, Laura, you're going to get symmetry too. Yeah, you saw in the uh, in the film where we, where we had a braid here and four lines, and I, the reason is uh, whenever I was working on my, my model, and if I if, I, if there's something, for example, the, the Egyptologist, that's Mark Lanner, he's a, he's a leading Egyptologist in the, in the world, and, and Mark would say, well, Rick, you know, at so and so site, you know, they uh, had this condition, and so I said, okay, I'll, I'll adapt my model to that problem. Okay, and so uh, what I did was, I, when half ships up, raised her obelisk, she was so close to the river, she didn't have enough room to, for people. She'd have all our pullers in the river. So I said, okay, what we'll do is we'll braid it, make four ropes, and you have, people have to travel less distance. And they show that in the, in the tomb where they have multiple ropes. Okay, so now what they're going to do, this is what we call fingertip control. They're going to pull very, very gently, and, and uh, Joe's going to let loose very, very easily. 
and Joe, Joe's really in control. If he, if he, uh, I guess, if he you know, stops and talks to a friend about what he's going to be doing this weekend, that'll come over. We'll all be down at the river at the bottom. <laughs> okay, there we go.